Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of Fantasy Island. Now, I grew up on Fantasy Island on TV. You know, it had Ricardo Montalban and Hervé Villachez uh, as the two hosts that welcomed you to Fantasy Island where all of your fantasies came true. Well, this new movie, it, they, at one time they had Bloom House in the title. It said Bloom House is Fantasy Island. And Bloom House is kind of a horror movie uh, company. So that kind of tipped you off that this was not going to be your father's Fantasy Island. No, this is one where people go to the island. They're greeted by Michael Pena, who is Mr. Rourke. Uh, same name as the character Ricardo Montalban had in the TV series. And he tells them, oh, your, all your fantasies are going to, you know, be lived out, but they will be lived out to the very end. You know, you, you can't stop your fantasy in the middle. You have to play it out. And, of course, everybody's fantasy that's there takes a bad turn. And that's what makes this distinct uh, from the TV series. The cast includes Lucy Hale, Maggie Q., as I said, Michael Pena, Michael Rooker, Portia Doubleday, Ryan Hansen, and Jimmy O. Yang. And they are there on the island getting involved in these semi-scary situations. Not too scary, not too interesting. Uh, it's, it's just played loosely uh, for logic. I'm a big Maggie Hugh fan. Some of you may not know her, but she's been on a lot of TV series, and, and she's an action uh, ca character on, on the TV series. In this one, she is a woman who you know, has regrets in her life, and she wants to go back and, and, and change those things over which she has regrets. Like Lucy Hale's been on you know, Pretty Little Liars. I think she was on that TV show. And... She, her character wants to go back and, and get revenge about the girls who bullied her, and one girl in particular who bullied her when she was in high school. I mean, these are not major things, but they're made to be highly dramatic, and then the mysticism of the island, and whether you can really get off the island once you get on the island, and then they try to tie, at the very end, they try to tie it into the t TV series, which just doesn't work at all. I was I was disappointed. I just felt like, you know, with this background, they could do more with it, especially if they went with kind of a horror film type touch to it, but they don't. Nothing nothing comes together like it should in this film. It's rated PG-13 because there is profanity and there is violence. I scored it 4 out of 10. It's not even average. It was below average. And, you know, it, it looks good, colorful, you know, lush settings, that type thing, but just doesn't come together like it should. Reach down there, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, keep up with all the videos that we're offering you about the movies, and we'll be, we'll be here for you. So, but for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of Fantasy Island.